Hello and welcome to a new video. This is a game we're playing. A, um, what? Uh, <laughs> Hello and welcome to Firestrike Entertainment. My name is Michael, and today we're playing a game that, uh, well, technically shouldn't exist anymore. Now, if you've ever heard of the term abandonware. Um, it just simply means that the software or the hardware has been abandoned, meaning all software or games on said hardware, or the game in general, um, because of the missing hardware, is unoperable. Um, there's a number of games and consoles that are abandonware, um, but Fusion Fall is one of those games, because there are no official servers anymore. So the fans took it up and created their own version. So... Give me one second, because I actually need to grab... The, yes, you're going to see that the window froze. Because I don't have my login. So, welcome to Fusion Fall. The game... This game, okay. Originally came out in 2008-2009. And this login screen right here is a cop or copy or a rip of the original login screen. Um, so, you can put a username and password, whatever you want, but nothing else works. And it really is, it really is just you logging into the server. So, we're going to create a character for YouTube. And let's get into it. Hello? It is I, Dexter. Can you hear me in there? Thank yeah, you I can for hear you. volunteering for this important time travel experiment. I'm going to need you to input your profile into the system before we begin. Stand by, and I'll bring it up on your monitor. Okay. So... We'll do... Can I do that? Yeah. We'll do YT. At least two parts, yeah. This is just letting me know this is my YouTube profile. Because we're probably going to be playing Retribution. Or Retro. <laughs> Won't let me put those in. Can I do this? No, I can't. So we'll just put YT. Hmm. M. Word. Good. Okay. So, how do I describe this game? Well, this game uh, yeah. came out in, as I said, like 20... No, 2008, 2009. And it has... It was out until 2013 when the server shut down. So, as we're doing this, we're playing an Abandonware game that does not exist because, well... No one wanted it to. No, not really. Um, a lot of fans wanted it to continue. It just... It didn't happen that way. Uh, is this, was that such a good thing or a bad thing? Not really. It just depends on how you look at it. So, I gotta design a character that looks different than my other character. Emo. We could go emo. No. Uh, I'm trying to remember what my original character, I actually had a, a few original characters. And weirdly enough, because I didn't change the setting, one of them was black. <laughs> uh, not to be racist or anything, it just, that was actually completely an accidental profile. Why was it accidental? Well, because this game took it too far, guys. They took it too far. And 
I didn't get a say. I didn't get to choose. Life just went on without me. I'm joking. So, and then if we press this, we get the female version. A, re a complete reset. So, we'll just play with this character. M. Fireheart. Excellent. Bio scan is complete. Let's make sure your communicator is functioning. All communication systems are functional, Dexter. I will be able to reconnect with the volunteer upon arrival in the future. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, I'm powering up the main engine now. You may feel a little bump. <laughs> wow, are you seeing these readings? A fine day for science indeed. <laughs> Prepare for launch. Ooh, Three, what does this do? No! Elor, you have been sent much farther into the future than Dexter intended. Watch out! Kanoli, where did you come from? Not now, number five. We gotta move. Follow us. And the tutorial begins. Initiate training. Please move the mouse to the right. Good. Excellent. Very good. Use the W, A, S, and B keys to move. You may also use the arrow keys. To move forward, press and hold the W key. Backwards, press and hold. Very good. While moving, you can steer left and right by using the mouse. Excellent. You can also move side to side by you to jump. Press the space bar. Uh, uh, to jump forward, hold the W key. Look! It's a bunch of fusion spawns. You get those, we'll handle this guy. Here, take this weapon. Good, you're handing a kid a gun. Now I know it's good name kid XR, but still. To fire at Still. You can tell how much damage you are doing by looking at your target's health bar. Oh, so the they don't. Why aren't they doing damage? I know the tutorial monsters, but I thought they would at least do damage. That hurts. Woohoo! Nice work, guys. Those creeps turn back into fusion matter when you beat them. Make sure you collect as much as you can. It's real important stuff. You will automatically collect fusion matter from defeated enemies. The amount of fusion matter you have is displayed in your fusion matter meter. As you defeat more enemies, your fusion matter meter will continue to fill up. Warning, more hostiles incoming. Mm -hmm. We've got more company. It's a Cyberus. Let's take him down. This guy actually does do damage to you. Damage to you is indicated on your health bar. If your health reaches zero, you will be knocked out. Yes! We did it! Nice shooting, by the way. You know, I just realized who you are. You're the kid from the past Dexter told us about. Well, you're in a world of trouble now. Look up in the sky. That's planet Fusion, ruled by some nasty guy named Fuse. Fuse has covered the world with gross green goo. And those disgusting fusion spawns are wrecking everything! Fuse's monsters have evolved and adapted to our planet. You should see some of them. They use things called terrafusers to infect everything with goo. If the infection gets bad enough, planet fusion will absorb our world. Now that you're up to speed, can you go help number two? We gotta go help the others. I need some help with a super important mission. Report to me right away. Your communicator comes with a built-in mini map. Hmm. It will show you how to reach number two. You are the marker in the center of the minimap. The red marker on the minimap is number two. As you move, check your minimap to make sure that you are going in the right direction. Note that you may need to go around large objects, like buildings, to reach your target. Okay. Well, anyway. 
Welcome to Fusion Fall. This game, this is the future. In the original version of Fusion Fall, this is the place that you would be starting at. Person, However, check your mini map to make sure that you are going in the right direction. Okay, sorry, I have to. Note that you may need to go around large objects like buildings to reach your target. Let's just mark this and then. Once we finish the tutorial, I'll get Look into my whole. Energy rings to help you find number two. I'll go into my whole informational piece if you to talk are interested. To number two, get Shut it. With a mission Computer. Computerist. Shut exclamation it. Exclamation mark over their heads. <clears throat> this attack was no accident. An oil ogre is using a transmitter to broadcast our position. We need to find that monster and get that transmitter. You ready? To accept the mission. To exit the mission course, the mission's current objective is displayed on your screen. Your first task is to defeat the oil ogre that stole the transmitter. Use your mini-map to locate your target. And we'll just shoot this dude until he dies. Weirdly enough, the tutorial monsters have a lot more health than uh, they should. Bring that transmitter back to me. Since you have completed your first task, your mission journal has updated. To open your mission journal, press the Enter key to access the main menu on the right side of your screen. Then select Journal. That's not letting me do keybinds. Your mission journal contains information on all your missions. It tells you who gave you the mission. It tells you what you need to do. It also tells you the reward you will receive once you complete the mission. Click the X. Your new task is to deliver the transmitter to number two. Note that your current objective has been updated, and a new red marker has been set to number two. Okay, I'll just say this. Uh, I do after playing the, the tutorial another time. I am waiting for the academy tutorial because the academy tutorial is much different from what I remember. Click on I number believe. two to talk to him and update your mission. Characters with a mission to update will to accept your reward. Click the complete mission button at the bottom. Of the click the close button. You're ready for nano, and I need your help. I think Dexter's in trouble. Congratulations. By successfully completing the mission from number two, you have filled up your fusion matter meter. When this meter fills up, you will automatically receive a new nano mission. Completing nano missions will reward you with new nanos. Every nano you collect will give you more powers and make you stronger. Yeah, as I said, we'll get into it because it's 13 minutes and we're still in the tutorial, but there's a few things that I want to talk about. But for now, let's just get our first nano, and then Select we can talk about. Select Buttercup's mission, a fusion matter, to continue. Dexter has disappeared. You've got to see if he's in the infected zone. I'll check out here. There's no time to lose. Click the close button on the. The most infected areas on the planet are called infected zones. Thanks to Fuse's terrafuser machines, fusion matter is totally out of control inside. Ha! Huh. Good thing Dexter set up energy shields to contain the infection. Your new task is to enter the infected zone to Here's find Here's the funny Dexter. thing, though. You can enter infected zones using warp gates. You can see that uh, him containing the infection the hasn't done much. Target the blue deck spot attendant and click on it. I'm doing swell. How are you? I am trapped in Fusion Buttercup Lair! Quickly, find the Fusion Portal! Use the floating platforms to get across. You can enter a Fusion Portal the same way you enter a Warp Gate. First, select the Fusion Portal. I fucked that up. When I was playing, um. I was playing a different time. Uh, the way you can do this, if you just want to do interesting movement is do stuff like that. You can skip. Now, click the warp button to enter the fusion. <sighs> I feel like I've talked very little and the game is talking a lot. You made it. I am over here. Come talk to me. Hurry. Select a This is you. I knew we would meet again. My stupid sister messed up the time jump sequence and destroyed the time capsule. We need to get you back to the past so you can save our world. 
Fusion Butler Cup is in the next room. We must stop her before she can cause any more damage. Fusions are dark, twisted versions of this planet's heroes, created by Fuse himself. They are extremely dangerous, but I think you can handle them. Are you ready? Let's go! Now, when it comes to the fusions, or like the fusion versions, they're essentially just emo versions of the regular heroes. And interesting thing, in this game there is no real dodging except for some uh, uh, except for some enemies that will only have physical attacks. So you can see that I'm jumping. I instantly hit it no matter what. It sucks. Buttercup, sweet. And here's the Buttercup Nano. Congratulations! You have made your first nano. Like fusions, nanos are made of fusion matter. You have used the fusion matter you collected in your fusion matter meter to create Nano Buttercup. Don't be discouraged by her size. She may be small, but she is powerful. Your communicator is now a nanocom. It has the ability to store up to three nanos. Whoa! That does not sound good. You can escape to Dex Labs using the warp gate I have set up. I must search this area and make sure Fusion Buttercup did not steal anything from my headquarters. Go to the warp gate to exit the area. Da -da. Use the warp gate. Target the warp. Very nice weather. <laughs> You're in the middle of nowhere. We can't hold Tech Square anymore. Get to the scamper. Hurry. Hmm. Now that your enemy is stunned, you can get to the scamper safely. Yeah, he takes no damage, so. Hi, number two. You did great, but it looks like Buttercup and the rest weren't able to handle those other terrafusers in time. Dexter says we gotta find Mandark so we can rebuild the time machine and send you back to the past. Let's get out of here! Despite our best efforts, Tech Square has been lost. But this war is not over yet. Not by a long shot. Our time-traveling friend here is just the hero we need. Between Mandark and Number Two, I am sure you will be able to rebuild my time capsule. Don't worry about me. I will be fine. Get back to Sector V and to safety. Dexter, out! All right, everyone. Next stop, Hero Square Sector V. And this is where I actually can start talking. I am glad to see you made it out of Tech Square. Please come speak to me right away. We must rebuild the time machine to get to incoming message. This is just an email saying, "Oh, we need to find pieces." So, this is Fusion Fall. Uh, or at least, yeah, this is really just a rip copy of it. So. Fusion Fall is built, or was built, using Unity. So, like, this is old Unity. Um, and you can take the scampers to different parts around the map. And there, in the future, where we are right now, there are this many islands. Sector V, which is the first one. Pokey Oaks North, Pokey Oaks South, Genius Grove... Peach Creek Commons, Peach Creek Estates, Goat's Junkyard, and Candy Cove. In Fusion Fall Retro, I believe it's the Academy. They start with the Academy version, meaning you don't start in the future, I don't think. I played it a while ago, I just can't remember. Um, but one of the key things is you can actually just cross the map. You don't have islands, really. So... Yeah. Uh, this game used to be a good part of my childhood. So, we'll see what I do with it. This video is short. I know that. If this is a video at all, really. But uh, if you enjoyed watching me suffer, because some of this stuff is really old. Cool. 
Um, I plan on playing Retro. It's called Retrobution. Not Retribution, but Retribution. Uh, which is the other fan version. Um, possibly on stream. If I start streaming. Other than that, we'll play, we'll just play this. And we'll have the Empire Heart account for videos. If this video gets any views, cool. If it doesn't, well, this game was dead anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so, I, uh, I guess I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, where we will start our quest to uh, go back to the past, like Samurai Jack. Which, mind you, Samurai Jack is fairly late in this, at least this area, the future. Also, the jump sounds are the same as the hurt sounds. So Pickle and I were making jokes about that. And he will not be, he most likely will not be joining me. Because Pickle is uh, not a little bitch. <coughs> um, but he just decided this wasn't his style. Because, yeah. Other than that, I might be stupid and I might play Wizard 101 as well. Uh, if we're going back to old games and Abandonware. But Wizard 101's not Abandonware. This... This actually is, even though it has servers and actually has some players. Like I saw two players, the two or three players the other day. We just play it because we're f old fans. So, as I said, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I guess if there is a next one, I'll see you. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next uh, video of whatever series goes on. And. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.